All right, so what's poppin' everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Desolation. Turns out we're actually near the ending of this update or this episode, I guess. And I don't know how I feel about that because funny enough, we're actually nearing the end of the year. So I think what I'm gonna do is these episodes throughout the week up until Friday will be a lot longer. I know I've been trying to like, you know, keep the videos short and whatnot. And I've been cutting out a lot of stuff in the videos as well. So I'm definitely going to be like trying to like make sure that I do everything that way. I could be real corny and be able to get my, uh, you know, my, my punctuation right for the new year. So we can just start off with some new stuff. The moment January comes in and I feel like that's going to be a good thing for everybody else to watch. So if you're binge watching, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Uh, if you're not, if you're just now catching on, you have a whole playlist to go catch up on. Link in the description section below. Everybody that's watching is welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you had a good uh, Christmas. We're getting close to the end of the holidays. I know you're enjoying your week off. Uh, let's get into it, dog. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single upload or anything over here on the channel. And also, do not forget to do all the four things that I literally just said to do. <laughs> that way, we can. this makes it easier for you and I. It, it's free to support. Trust me, it's free to support. It goes a long way. Thank you. Anyway, we met Lilith, and I have a new baby mother. <laughs> Essentially, she's fine. We have her whole backstory or whatever, but now we have to go find Garrett. And Garrett should be over here. He is. Here he is, right over here. Hello. And we're going to be going to the archives so we can learn more about Shiv and Aurora because apparently there's a lot of things that Shiv has not been telling us, as you can tell. But a lot of people in the beginning of this playthrough told me to trust Shiv, and I'm so lost. Unfortunately, though, a lot of things, uh, I'm, I'm at a point now where a lot of people are like spoiling in the comment section. They're like, oh, hey, you're getting close to the part uh, where your decisions really affect the end that you get. And look, I'm not going to front you. I'm going to just play this how I normally play this. I'm going to rock how I normally rock this out. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Welcome, Nick, to the one scrap of territory I feel comfortable in here in Central. People may not be the nicest of nice, but who gives a toss? At least I know they'll have my back. They're loyal, and that's what matters. That's what my show is all about, having people I can count on. So, what is it for you here? Or what, what's your, what, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. The archives, huh? Well, well, didn't know you had it in you, mate. You realize what the security is like down there, right? And how difficult it would be to break in, especially under Rosetta's nose. That's pretty intense, even for me. It'd be helpful if one of us actually got on with her. Then she might actually be useful for once. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hmm. All right, if I'm gonna help you down there, I gotta know what it is you're looking for. Stuff on Aurora and Shiv, huh? Mate, him and her are no good, are bad news. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't wanna mess with them one bit, but well, ah, oh, damn it. Yo, yo, I like how Shiv is very, very uh known, despite how mysterious he was in the beginning. Like, it's like, hey, like, He's, he's known around these parts, you know what I'm saying? I can't pass up a good heist, the excitement, the thrill, damn it. Fine, I'll help you on one condition. Let me explain. I've decided following what you've done for me as it is, that you could be pretty he damn helpful to me. I'd like you to join my crew and join my cause. You see, my men and I, we've had some talks. We want to get the city back. We haven't really decided on a name yet, but we know our objective, to free Cilia. That... That's a cause that everyone should here should be fighting for. I've been hiding from the world for a while, turning a blind eye, but I'm ready to get back on my feet. Okay, okay, I like, okay, Garrett, okay, talk that, talk that. We can use the extra firepower from you, mate. We need it, in fact. I want to ask what your choice is, but I know what you, do, what you don't really have one. You need me for the archives, I need you for the cause. So then let's shake on it. Meet me in Sully Library when you're ready. Until then, feel free to help me with any operations I'm planning out. I saw Rosetta around the tournament building. You probably shouldn't talk to her until this whole charade is over. Thanks a heap, Nick. So you can, uh, so you can, I, so I guess these are like, this is just side quests, no? Like these are just side quests you can just do whatever you want with, no? I mean, do I care about doing this for him? I mean, it's all optional, but then some things are mandatory as well. I don't know. I don't want this to be a long joint. I really don't. I do not want this to be long. But do I really have a choice here, huh? I mean, you know, honestly, though, uh, ah, man, 
I know people are gonna be mad at me for skipping this, but I think I kind of want to finish with the main story. I can come back and do these anytime, no? I know you get like some stuff here, but oh, man, do I, I want to do it. I don't know how long the side quest is gonna be though. You know what, bro? You know what? No, no, no. Let's, let's do this, bro. Let's let's do this, bro. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Let's go, man. Let's let's make this story. I thought I'd pique your interest. Well then, listen closely, man. A few days ago, one of my boys noticed that Fox entered an old empty candy store in Central. The building isn't owned by anyone. In fact, it's usually locked up tight. So why on earth is a fox there? It's especially it's especially strange, actually. But because or because ever since the Aurora incident, foxes have refrained from forming dens above ground. So yeah, the operations is simple. We've got to check out the candy store and figure out what's going on. Once we got a handle on things, we'll consider taking more steps. You you keen to help us? Yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 do that. Come on, let's change the story. Okay, let's go. I, I don't know. Okay, all right, team, let's get moving. All right. Some time later. I really secure Garrett. Of course it is, fool. Why'd they be out here during the day in plain sight? At least pretend to have some brain, lads. Well, here, here we are, or we're here. My boys will stop anyone from getting out. You and I, however, will go straight in. Well, after you. Are we about to double battle this? Cozy. Well, then, look around, shall we? Keep your eyes on for any suspicion. Don't touch any candy. Candy's mine. What you mean, bro? You can't have all the candy, bro. Relax, buddy. I'm trying to see what the vibes is. I wonder. Come on. Vending machine doesn't work. What is it? Okay. Suspicious, huh? Press the switch. Dirt malfunction. What the hell? Yep. Well, this might be a problem. Door is stuffed. Luckily, I have the power of my superior fist. Let me say, give you, let me give you the demonstration. Ha! <laughs> Lucario smashed the door. There you go. Finally. Well, that was awkward. This obviously leads to nowhere good, so keep your guard up, shall we? All right, let's go. Just some minor adjustments, Sen. And who might you be? How did you... No, 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 no. You found me, then they will too. They, who is they, and who are you? Listen, I don't want no trouble. Don't let this uniform fool you. I'm not a fox anymore. So you're what then? I detected from the foxes a couple of days ago. I've been hiding out here ever since. You're tough trainers, right? You, you could help me, maybe. The only thing I dislike more than Fox is a lack of loyalty. I don't think you deserve shit from me. Yo, hey, so they're cussing in this game? I need y'all to really hit these likes. For real, for real. <laughs> 500 likes for real. Because they on that bull. I think I'll go sell you right out right now, actually. No, please, wait, listen to me. I know the location of a den. A den you haven't found yet. Well, why didn't you say so? Now you're speaking my language. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, stop kissing my ass and talk, dude. Of course, the den is being ran by a branch of foxes that have been well cut off. The lieutenant in charge has started being way too aggressive as of late, and leadership didn't like that. They cut him off, and no one has felt safe since. How come we've never heard of this? It is sensitive it's sensitive information only myself and a few others know about it. Hmm, right. The den, where is it located? Well, last I saw of it. What the f Hypno, use flash! Oh, for God's sake, more of you rats. Rats? We were simply going to extract our friend here and leave you be, but we won't have any mercy, not now. As for you, defect, oh my god, you're not getting off lightly for this. Things will certainly end badly for you, not to deal with you. Nick, we both know the foxes are rubbish, let's kick their asses already. Got you, bruh. I kind of feel like there has to be a reason why this is so, like a, like a thing that you can do in this part of the game. That's what I'm thinking, like, why is it so special that you need to do any of this? We'll find out soon enough. Oh, no. No, okay. Low key though, I'm trying to see what the vibes are like though. I could really use an Incineroar. I can make, I don't know. I, I can really use a lot of Pokemon. Like a lot of Mons that I just really like like using, like Incineroar. I kinda wanna get like Ric Flair from Reborn if possible, but I don't know if you can get a Charmander in this game. I don't know. Well, well, I underestimated you, no matter. Men retrieve the defect and move out. Not on my damn watch. Flash. Damn it, seriously, come on. Fox is that organized and professional. They're all defects. What the hell is going on, Nick? Who's organizing this? Damn it, meet me back at the base. This ain't over. So when he said the base, he means like the base over here, yeah? Hey, he's all, I was gonna say like, yo, like I, I kinda wanna know. What happened? I'm pissed, off, I'm pissed off beyond belief. But there was the slightest glimmer of happiness in that operation. The stuff inside happened to sell for a damn fair amount. Here's a cut for you. You were helpful back there. 10 credits, hey! My men and I are working on figuring out where the foxes went with that defect. It'll take some time and everyone's getting pretty tired, so well, I have a big favor to ask. You got the big manor from Rosetta, right? You reckon you could, well, make some room for us? We can camp out in the basement, you know? Tell tell you what, let us stay there and we'll give you a small credit cut for all of our proceedings. 
Sure. That's the loyalty I was talking about. You, my friend, are showing excellent colors. We'll get on the... Okay, come on. Ah. Interest in your business have increased? Whatever, they just took over my entire spot. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of folks here already. Can I help you, uh, how to make profit? Perks of hiring vendors. Perks of hiring vendors. Can I, uh... That's how to make profit, of course. First thing you should know, I'm using your name, the Hero of Blackview, to help advertise. Hopefully, you travel around there. The more people you meet, the more business will come. The people in your shop, purchase items, and your credits, you will take a cut. Okay, 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 okay. Secret vendors, I just mentioned that indeed. I cannot cover all fronts. Some of the more elite battle items are scarce for me. Okay, so I uh, I bought um, expansions to the mansion, of course. Like, I bought, like, I don't think I ever did this, but I actually have to hire. Um, Okay. Oh, I can hire yo! I can hire more of these guys. Get a little old me, man. I was thinking we could put a vendor here to sell us high end range around my potions kind of stuff thing. I don't know anyone like that. Hopefully you have better luck. I mean, I, hopefully I hope so too. I gotta, I still gotta buy some more of these guys. Whenever I get more credits, I'm gonna actually just go ahead and like cash out on these uh, on these things. But yo, this is dope as hell for me, man. They should be down here. Here they are. Hello, how you doing? All right. I gotta say, it's a nice place you got here, Nick. Thanks for letting us camp out here. There's been a big motivation. Now on the business. Some of my boys have been watching the Fox entrance to the Undercity. There's been absolutely nothing, no activity whatsoever, which means the group who took our defect friend didn't go to the Undercity, at least not yet. This leaves us only one reasonable conclusion, the sewers. The problem is we don't know much else. Most of my men don't really know the sewers all too well, so I'd rather have them focusing on finding the den itself rather than searching for the defect. Instead, I'd like the job to fall to you. You've been down there before. You have a fair idea of what it's like. I want you to go down into the sewers and find the group that took him. Yeah, I, can, I got that, man. I got that, bro. So maybe on the southwestern side of the sewers, come back, see what you find. All right, I got you. Yeah, when I get some more uh, credits, I'm going to just say screw it, and I'm going to come back down, and I'm going to like max out uh, the shop. I don't even know how you can find the other vendors, though. That's my thing. I don't know where you can find them. There's also hella items over here that I'm just not sure I know about already, right? So, like, I have to, like, make sure that I'm doing the right thing with exploring this place. I could probably do a lot of things right now, maybe. I think this is it right here. Hey, mate, I think you should mind your own business, huh? Foxes. No, no, no. No foxes down here. Look, how about you just turn around and go home? This ain't working, is it? Well, then, distract drastic measures it is. Sorry in advance, kid. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, he's hiding something. I, I thought this was... I want you to know I was exploring. I'm like, I'm being like, is this where I'm supposed to go? Turns out it's exactly where I gotta go. All right, he's defeated. Next. Well, that didn't go well. The people inside won't be glad that I'm well stuffed up. So uh, I'll be off now. Ta. Oh, listen. We need to get him back to the base, but we're being watched closely. We can't let them see us enter the Undercity. If we're careful enough. You. I remember you from that store. What are you doing here? This isn't your business. Or are you another stupid channel trying to play hero? <laughs> It doesn't really matter now, does it? After all, whoever wins is truly just determined by whoever's is the best Pokemon. Fine. You can have your chance. Team, take him. Uh. Oh my. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna heal up first and foremost. I'll handle you soon. Trust me. I'm gonna just sit here and just stall these guys out real talk. And I'm gonna just let y'all do y'all thing. Because y'all aren't gonna be able to do it again out of me. I'm sorry. It's not happening. I was gonna say, I haven't seen the Toxic Packs in so long. But I, ha I saw when... I think in Pokemon Unbound recently, I was like, oh my god, the Toxic Pack is here. Oh, this is this is terrible. I hate when like modern day games know about Toxic Packs. So like they just sit there and be like, oh well. Alright, kill him now. We're done. Come on. Hmm, well, well, aren't you quite the hero? It seems you're better than I expected. Fine, take the defect. But let me tell you, this ain't over. Alright, whatever. Hey. Well, this guy chased me. I was searching for a treasure I was duping to looking for. Suddenly there's something that's jumped me. Okay, I gotta repay you. I'm afraid, of course. I'm a rock trader. I sell all sorts of stones. Work with you. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yo, you saved me. I'm indebted to you, trainer. Surely indebted. Uh, here, this is what I can do. Six credits. Sure. I promise to tell you the location of that group's den. Uh, I will keep that promise. I swear. Just not here. Is there a place I can go to meet your allies? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Meet you there. I can't go? What the f- Hey, yo! Okay, so you know you'd have to do, like, you'd have to do side quests, essentially, to go ahead and, um, to go ahead and get the last remaining vendors, which makes sense to me. It does. Anywho, uh, Garrett, you already know what to do, dog. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Well, well, the prodigy returns. You continue to impress me, Nick. Say, you've brought back the defect. 
let's waste some time. Are you ready to begin? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the time for progress is now. Take the floor, friend. Right, yes, of course. As you all may know, the Black Foxes, the main Black Fox base was compromised by Nick here. The main branch of the Foxes were forced to move locations in order to maintain secrecy. Yet a small branch of the Foxes promptly moved in and made their home there. It was the same group that Nick just freed me from. Yes, indeed, the rogue Foxes are holed up in the old Fox Den within the other city. How is that possible? There's been no Fox activity to and from the Undercity I've kept and monitored using the Fox Den tr entrance. Instead, they've been dressing up as normal criminals, entering the ex exiting, entering and exiting through, well, my damned entrance, of course. Well then, folks, we know our objective. The Undercity, Garrett, you sure that's a good idea? You know that we're meant to keep our dealings out of. Yeah, I know. But this time, we deserve exception. Here's the plan, folks. You will all stay here, coordinate, coordinate the men to attack. I need them to be attacking the den in brute force. Create the biggest possible distraction. Nick and I will enter the den, find the lieutenant, beat his ass, and finally have him order his men to stand down. Simple enough? Excellent. You certainly helped lead the way in this case, Nick. Let me know when you're ready to finish the job. I'm ready now, buddy boy, bucko. I'm ready now, Donnie. Let's do this. Come on. Sometime later, deep within the Undercity. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. Whoa, Nick, it's time. Can you smell it? The sweet smell of destruction. Come on, we gotta go inside. Let's get it done then. Oh, they gotta fight them still. Okay, let's go then. Yo, Garrett is boxing three guys by himself. There's just no way. Nick, you of all people had to, that had to come this is a strange coincidence, isn't it? Both of us helping out groups we never thought we'd be a part of. What a shit show. If there is such a thing as fate, it's certainly, it's certainly an ass. Otherwise, it wouldn't have pitted us against each other. No matter, I have my goals and you have yours. I want to ask for your sympathy. I only ask you to forgive me for what I'm about to do. Because after all this is over, I don't even know if I'll be able to forgive myself. On guard, Nick. <sighs> hardy, 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 man. I don't know how you did this. I don't get it. I don't understand how and why, but you really are one of the most, I don't know, you're an interesting character to say the least. Oh, I'm so sorry you got predicted like that. Well, that's nuts. That is nuts to me. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. I'm ha <laughs> ha. Look at this. Ah ha ha. Look at him. Ah ha. No, I'm saying yeah. How you feeling, King? Uh, of course, uh, you're not You're not killing beyond the burn, but sure. Goodbye. Next is Silvali. Well, this is kind of pitiful. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm sorry. But you're dead. Oh, a Tyranitar. Okay. Yo, Whoop is just killing him. Like, I've burned literally everybody on his team minus his, uh, his... Oh, he has a special attack. Oh, he has a special attack. He has a mixed Tyranitar going on. Okay, I mean, okay, that's cool by me. Goodbye. Oh, no. Wowzers. Uh-oh. Is this his Mega? I think this is his Mega, y'all. Look at this. Yup. I knew it. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was his mega. I knew it was his mega. I knew it was his mega, man. Wow. Too bad for your mega. It's kind of cheeks. LA's not bad, but it's just not. It's not. It's not intimidating like it's supposed to be. I won. Like I, I've won already at this point. We can, we can do whatever we want at this point. We're good. All right, let's finish this now. Come on, kill him now. There you go. Next. Even now, of course. It seems I have lost my touch. Ever since I joined this lot, things haven't been the same. I'm a criminal now. <laughs> I never saw myself doing any of this, Nick. The things we do when we're desperate. But it'll all be worth it in the end, surely. Nick, this isn't over. Not yet. My dream is still the same. I'll be the league champ in no time. I just have to make a detour to make. There's no choice. To think I could have just defect from the foxes and make my own decisions. That was foolish. Walden Hall, he's the answer I've been looking for. I better get back to Lilith. I suspect it was... See each other soon, Nick. Until next time. It seems you did it, huh? We all did it. It'd be nice to make this place home base, to be honest. Too bad half the damn city must know about it by now. It's nice to feel like I've made a difference here, made a real difference. Who knows? Maybe one day you, me, and the boys will have freed this junk out of a city. I'm heading on back, mate. Feel free to meet me whenever you're keen. A dark EMZ, okay. So, like, low-key, I kind of feel a way that Hardy is, like nothing but a side quest character especially when you meet him and he seems very important but i guess he's like the friend that's in like the evil team so of course it makes sense that like 
he's a side guy like you don't have to go see him but you'll see him in like the ranks or whatever i mean it sucks he'll be he'll be our friend again one day nick you're back everyone has already gone off to take a break me i'll stay here and plan our next move you does some excellent work nick all oh, right we got some sick loot while we were down there here's a generous cut 15 credits until then, I'm certain you got more insurance for stuff to do, and if not, well, there's always the Fight Club. I'll have a word with one of the last there. They'll be sure to let you in. You sit over in a cafe, I guess. Well, okay, I can actually use that to uh, to get my thing. I guess we may as well start this off, no? Let's go ahead and do this right now. Good to see you, Nick. It's about time you arrived, too. People were starting to give me stares, mate. I'm not exactly the library-looking type, as you can see. So, down to business. We need to get into the archives, right? Well, then, let's analyze the situation. So the entrance is only guarded by one guy, probably our basic librarian too. It would be simple stuff to get past him, we just need a distraction. But not just any distraction, one that will seem genuine. Because if one of my guys comes in making noise, it will only raise suspicion. That guy over there with the blue hair and hair, I met him before. Unfortunately. You may have also had the pleasure, he's an extremely strange and annoying bloke. In other words, the perfect distraction. Maybe he'll help us, huh? So the plan is pretty simple at the moment. You go and convince Blue Dude to go do something while distracting. I'll go pick a book and try to look less suspicious. Once we get inside, we ought to get quick. We can't be seen messing with the stuff, period. All right, let's go ahead and go uh, talk to Buddy. Hey, your Buddy in the blue. Hmm, something you want? As you can see, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the presence of this table. You're ruining the experience for me, friend. I don't appreciate that, not one bit. Oh, you want me to check the librarian, dude? You, you little munchkins asking favors for nothing. Hmm. But Jared would never turn down a chance to have some fun. Indeed, Jared thrives on it. Jared will do as you say. Jared needs something in return. Wait for your signal. Okay. Uh. I guess now. Oh yeah, I love reading. You hurry up. Uh. What's my signal? What's my What's my signal? I'm so lost. I'm ready. Let's go. Hello, sir. Jared is not a matter to bother you, and Jared has a problem. What? You know you don't. You idiot, what are you doing? Jared is dealing with the problem, fool. Jared needs librarian to help him. Uh, sir, are you feeling okay? Indeed, Jared does not know. Jared has sore tummy, and sore head, and sore toes. Sore toes. Jared gets sore toes from wearing those shoes. What the? What's going on here? Jared will ask librarian man a favor. Will librarian be so kind to lend Jared's shoes? I'm not one of the librarians. I guard the archives, you fool. The archives are the most prestigious store of knowledge in all of Aerith. Jared is the most prestigious owner of the so sore toes. Help Jared. Ugh, oh, fine. It's not like someone will come anyway. God, we need better security for people like you. Thank you, librarian, man. My toes are so grateful. I'm not a librarian. I'm, uh, I'm wasting my time. Let's get this over with. Let's go. So, this is what's back here. Well, Nick, looks like we're in. I'll say it. I can't believe that crap to work. Seriously, what's wrong with that guy? Anyway, never mind that. We can't waste time. You've got a job to do, right? Let's get down to the archives. I don't know how much time we've got. I don't know either. We're getting close to something. I guess something sorry stuff's about to happen. Hello? Give me up here. Hello? Holy hell. Who knew this place was down here? Right beneath our noses. It's definitely not what I imagined. I thought it would be more, well, librarious. Is that even a word? Eh, who cares? We got a job to do. Information on Shiv and Aurora, huh? Right. Let's put up a look around then, huh? This looks like a big place. We got a lot of ground to cover. Find anything that looks suspicious. Good luck, mate. Got the Rampa music and stuff going on. You know what's real crazy about that, too? Open the Diary of a Monster. As you begin reading the words, a strange feeling overcomes you. I should probably start by introducing myself if anyone else to ever read this. It's kind of hard to tell you my name because even I don't know it. My parents weren't ever around to tell me. So I started calling myself Aurora. I at least like that name. Oh, there's Aurora's. Oh, I wonder if my parents were around. Oh, the house is theirs. I remember that. So yo, yo, we get like her story from that. Okay. I wonder if my parents were around somewhere. What would they have named me? But what does that matter now? They ran off. They left my brother and I in the middle of a frozen wasteland. They simply vanished. Left their left us their home their old homes and little more. We would have to look after ourselves, and so began the story of my brother and I. The strange feeling wears off. I don't like this at all. What you looking at, G? Talk to me. There's info on everyone here, mate, even me. Wait. Connor the ultimate gym leader. Connor the ultimate gym leader. 
This is more. Okay, right here, right here, right here. This is this is more of her story. We're not normal kids, Shivs and I. We've never been normal. We were born like this, born with these strange abilities. Until I met that girl, I thought we were completely normal. You know, we never asked for this. We never wanted it. Shiv has always loved battling even before he knew he wasn't normal. He was so good at it. In fact, he always said he wanted to take on the league one day. I actually think he had come to love his powers. He embraced them, using them to help himself out of every twist and turn. His powers became a part of who he was, I guess. Me? I wasn't so lucky. As soon as I realized I was different, I desperately wanted to be normal again. I couldn't stand the feeling I had and I didn't belong, you know? So yeah, I spent a long, long time researching, well, us. And here I am now. Even after all this time, I still haven't even answered the most fundamental question. What the hell are we? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, I really were going somewhere. It's a strange book that I made. Okay, more. This is part three. I never stopped researching. I wanted to be normal, desperately so. I didn't want to live like this, knowing I was, well, you know, I wasn't about to give up so easily, right? So I spent my entire childhood on this damn research. I learned all that I could about myself and Shiv. I thought I had all the answers. I approached the nearby science conference. I thought that maybe they'd be able to help us out. I presented my findings to everyone. I explained the situation as best as I could. I didn't think they all treated us as a joke. It was my own fault, really. To someone I, who hadn't experienced what we've been through firsthand, it could seem completely bizarre. But even so, all that, all that spent some neglecting Shiv. And for what? To be mocked, laughed at by these snobby losers? I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow them to just condemn Shiv like that. I lost myself that day. I did what I swore I'd never do. I heard someone with those same powers that I was desperately trying to get rid of. And hell, looking back on it, I may have even enjoyed it. I guess that's what shaped me into who I am now, today. What Shiv and I both are, complete, absolute monsters. Wow. So she neglects her powers. Shiv is not, uh... Shiv is not, um... Shiv isn't the same, which I guess makes sense. Hello? More books, no? We can probably find something, maybe. Another book over here. Hello? Part four. Hello. I knew what I was. After that, after they turned down all my work, I knew what would happen to me. What a shitty world we live in, huh? Yet I would continue my research. I wasn't going to stop just because some snot-nosed nerds told me to. No, I will continue alone. That being said, my motivation for continuing has surely changed. I didn't want to be normal, not after that feeling I had when, well, I disposed of those people. That feeling of being powerful, being in control of that situation. I don't want anyone to take that away from me. Not after experiencing it so vividly. I realized at that moment that I realized my new... I was... It was... Uh, it was at that moment that I realized my new cause. I wouldn't continue this research to cure myself, no. I will continue my research to find out my weakness, to find out whatever hurts Shiv and I, and eliminate it. Shiv, unfortunately, also had changed. While I spent my time researching our abilities, he spent his time using them. He defeated countless trainers and best and the best of the best travelers, gym leaders. He was slowly becoming the best. And what are you meant to do once you become the best? I should have kept a closer eye on him. It was obvious how he felt. Empty, bored, like everything was meaningless. He had never been offered a challenge ever. He'd become too good for his own good. I did what any big sister would, tried to help him. I started training Pokemon myself, training whatever I could find. I used my ability to accelerate the process to become as strong as possible, as quickly as possible. I had to save him, I thought I could. I battled him eventually, I won easily. I didn't expect that it would only add to his grief. I thought it would motivate him. Yet, there I was, losing my brother before my eyes. That is until that strange girl arrived. Nova! Look at this place. It seemed like they have everything down here, perhaps even on Lilith, the foxes. Oh, mate, it's you. So any luck? I've had shit all. I've had shit all. What? I've had shit all? I'm afraid? I'm not exactly an avid reader. I always knew Aurora and Shiv were strange, but these abilities. How is it even real? I'm used to dealing with thugs and snobs like, not this insane shit. I know it's real, mate. I've seen with my own eyes, but. Oh, damn it. We're wasting time here. Come on, let's keep moving. There's got to be more. Oh, there's another thing. A Sylph Scarf. I don't like it at all. 
There's no top of the book. Diary of a Monster, entry six. Nova. I was so absolutely foolish to trust her. She was a normal person, completely human in every regard, and that's why she was so dangerous to us. I was so stupid. Shiv and I are monsters, nothing more. And Nova, she knew it. She grasped that constant exceptionally well in her betrayal. Nova, of course, was at our house again. I suppose Shiv was happy enough with her around, so I let her stay the night. Out of no more than goodwill. It was a strange night for me. I felt like I was in a deeper, strange sleep than usual. There was no shortage of nightmares that night either. There was one particular nightmare that I was that I very much wanted to get out of, so I pushed and shoved awoken with a start, only to see Nova, cold red eyes staring down at me. Her hand was on my shoulder and I felt so drained. Something felt wrong. Something was leaving me through that shoulder, straight into her hand. She saw that I had awoken and ran off as quickly as she could. She tried to move as hard as I could, but I felt so empty. Despite that, I found my strength and got up. I chased her without holding back. I followed her down the stairs as quickly as I could, but then I heard a sound there was no mistaking it. It was Shiv yelling. I knew I needed to hurry. It was Nova's doing. Why was she doing this? My thoughts were buzzing all over the place as I ran down the stairs. I tried to use my powers to reach him. I swear I did everything, but nothing worked. Nothing. I knew I was too late, and then I saw it. I couldn't mistake it. The knife, the blood, my little brother, Shiv. Why? He cares so much about her, and that was how she repaid him. When I saw Shiv laying there, I didn't once think to check if he was okay. I was completely bonded by rage. I had the same familiar feeling again. I won't let her run away. I won't let her run away, not after that, not after what she did. I would do what she, I would do to her what she did to Shiv, but a thousand times worse. But even then, by the time I got outside, she was gone. She had disappeared, just like my parents. It was the same thing all over again. It was like she had just teleported away. And at that moment, it was obvious why I couldn't use my powers. It's the same reason Nova could teleport away. She had stolen and then somehow stolen my powers, stolen the part of me of who I am. She used Shiv to hurt him, manipulated him to steal my powers. This girl, Nova, stole a part of me. At that point, I knew my research could wait. Nova, at the other hand, could not. Huh? What the hell? This can't be right. No way. This is crazy. Insane. I don't believe in this fairy tale bullshit. This is stupid. If that's true, Nick, listen closer to this shit. This here, it talks about Nova and Shiv. Shiv and Nova are the famous children. What? Are often discussed as cursed beings. However, they're not so different from you and I. In fact, they're completely utterly normal. Yet, what of their so-called powers? Let it be known, reader. Anything it's possible when... What the hell was that? It's coming from the surface, Nick. I'm not taking any risks here, mate. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. What the hell is happening upstairs? We gotta get you together. Let's go. A strange feeling like, what's that? We all need to leave, even you. Don't worry, I wouldn't leave you behind, Garrett. Things are bad. It's far too much for me to handle. Rosetta, how did you know we... Questions can wait. It's Aurora and Nova. They're fighting. We can't stay no anywhere near them when this all, when this happens. We need to go now. We'll get out. Of we'll get out and sort of plan later. God of War, Rosetta. I just you knew I wouldn't leave you behind. R what the Rosetta? Nick, they hadn't. God of War teleported us all. Something must be holding Nick from. Damn it, Nick. Hold on, Aurora. Little Nova, how I've or Nova, little Nova, how I've missed you. Back together just like old times. This time things will be different. You think I'm scared of you, Aurora? I'm done running from you. I'm done being afraid of you. You're obsessive. Nothing else. Are they in front of the? They're in front of the library. I'm not scared of you. Scared of me? You immature child. I don't want you to be scared of me, Nova. I want you to think you can stand up and fight. I want you to try your luck again, just so I can see your face when I put you back down again. You're a psycho, Aurora. What the hell do you want from me? For some reason, you won't. You just stay at. Wait, what? For some damn reason, you won't just stay out of my life. Stay out of your life? Why didn't you follow your own advice all those years ago? You used him, Nova. You hurt him. Broken him. You stole a part of me. You think I just forget that? How else? Wait, how else was I meant to survive out there? With what I had started to become. We all have done shitty things, Aurora. We've all made mistakes. You, me, Shiv. Just leave me alone, please. 
or please just leave me alone, whatever. Leave you alone after all that? Shut up, Nova. I'm done with I'm done playing your manipulative little games. Give them back. Give back the rest of my damn powers. I won't run from you anymore, Aurora. You stole a part of me, Nova. Give it back now. I'm warning you, damn it. A part of you, huh? No, it's not yours anymore. You damn fine then. If you want to play things that way, I'll finish what you started on that night. You remember that little stone, Nova? The honest stone that you worked so desperately wanted to work? It won't work, not in your naive hands. It was meant to be used by our family, not a pathetic thief like you. So then, you want to see what the stone brings out? Let me show you, Nova, just to let you know that you'll never be able to have, oh my God, in your useless life. Aurora, no. Please wait. I warned you, Nova. I warned you over and over. You want to be? You want your new world so bad? Come and take it. You being gone, I'll be, I'll be doing the world a favor. Enjoy the world you wanted all alone. No, I'm sorry. Please, Aurora. Please, Woo. Aurora. Stop. That's enough. Why, Shiv? Shiv, it it's you. You came here to this city where your powers are meant to be gone. Aurora, I never planned to come here. Not until I knew Nova was in the city. Not until I, all of this. Shiv, I miss you so much. You have no idea. I want to be with you as much, but but it's time to put an end to all this, Shiv. An end of all this. An uh, end to all this. We can be normal again. Starting by getting rid of her. No, Aurora. You're not get it, You're not going to hurt her. What? What are you saying? You'd side with her over me? I don't agree with her ways, but you know that even then I care about her. No, you don't. She manipulated you. She only made you think that. It's not real, Shiv. You think I care? It's real to me. And when it comes down to it, that's what matters. You are a simp. You are a simp. What? I hate her for what she's done, for what she plans to do. But on this godforsaken world, she's the only person I really give a crap about. Please, Aurora, let it go. Just leave her alone, please. I wish things were that easy, but you know the world isn't that kind. Not to whatever the hell we are. What she's done, I won't let her do it to us again. I'm sorry, Shiv. In my eyes, family comes first. I won't leave you to her whether you like it or not. Aurora, no, please calm down. Don't do this. If I have to take you both at the same time, so be it. This is for the good of the family. Damn it, Aurora, fine. Have it your way. Nick, is that you? Damn it, Nick, please. I can't fight my own sister alone. She's far too strong, please. You won't hear me say this again, but I need your help. Before she hurts Nova. Nick, hmm, so that's your name. So, this is your scent. That's, so this is why your scent was familiar. You knew my brother all along. You're quite the enigma, Nick. I don't know you well, but I know this. You just came out of the archives. I know you were there. You've seen my journal, haven't you? Which means you know the truth. You know what Nova has done. She deserves what she's going to get from me. I don't know if I have it in me to fight. She, Shiv, not again. Nick, please avert his eyes. Nick, no, please, trust me, please. Aurora can be stopped. This can end happily, I swear. Please forgive Nova. Both of them require you to do what you would do. Oh! I'm gonna end this off. Bye.